Hi, I'm Jamie with The Saving Secret, where I help you be more intentional with your money. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five Fidelity accounts. Over the years, I have reviewed lots of different Fidelity accounts. And I thought it was appropriate that I would go through not only the accounts that uh, I use, but also kind of rank them. And Fidelity is a great place to grow your wealth where many banks and institutions deals with hundreds of millions or billions of dollars, Fidelity manages trillions of dollars. And they have lots of different accounts that can help you be intentional with your money and move your accounts in a tax efficient way so you can grow your wealth over the long term. So today I'm gonna to talk specifically about those top five accounts. How do they compare to the industry and what do I invest in? So without any further ado, let's jump in. All right, so my first account that I really like with Fidelity is one that people aren't very familiar with, and that's the Fidelity Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card. Now, this is a zero annual fee credit card. It has, and you receive 2% back on every purchase. Now, what makes this uh, credit card very special is not only is it a zero annual fee where you get 2% back on everything, which is one of the best in the industry, but your points never expire. And where that money gets deposited to that cash back is into a qualifying Fidelity brokerage account or other different account with retirement account. Me personally, I have it deposited into my brokerage account. But it's a very great account, very simple. If you have a Fidelity account, I would encourage you to check it out. One of the downfalls is if you're playing the credit card sign up points game and you're going through a different one, Fidelity does offer sign up bonuses, but they're kind of rare and they're not as appealing as some other ones. But as an everyday credit card, it really offers great service. If you notice here, it's been voted the best rewards credit card uh, for cash back for savers for six years in a row. So I've had this credit card for over three years, could be four years. I, I kind of lost count, but it is my main cash back credit card because 2% on pretty much any purchase is very helpful. Now, of course, it's not the only credit card in my wallet, but it is definitely one that I'm very proud to say that it is one of my uh, credit cards that I use, and it's really nice to have it. Again, none of the things that I talk about are going to be sponsored by Fidelity. It's just my own personal experience, so I think it's important to note that. Getting back to the credit card, they have some additional features and services. One of the things is when I first came up with it, it, it did have a foreign transaction fee. At this point, no foreign transaction fee. There's no annual fee. It has great fraud. I've actually misplaced my credit card and I was able to have them overnight a credit card, which was really nice uh, the next day. So great customer service. It's to be able to track it. You can see it right there within your Fidelity account. So again, this is my number five account that I, I really use uh, on a regular basis is my Fidelity credit card. So coming in at number four is my health savings account with Fidelity. Now I've done a lot of different videos on this and I would say that as compared to the industry, it is the best. Um, and one of the reasons it's the best is a lot of these other healthcare providers you might've heard of with health equity, Optimum Bank, Lively, is there some kind of account minimum and there's a fee and so for employers that I've had in the past is health equity, and they're kind of one of the older uh, health savings accounts, is they have like a minimum to invest, and there's just fees associated with it. And I just hate that. One of the things that I like about the Fidelity is, again, you're going to find that there's no fees. There's no minimums. You have the ability to invest in so many different options that are within the Fidelity portfolio. Um, it again, you don't have to just take my word for it. It has Morningstar and Investor Business Daily both rank it as the best HSA out there. And one of the reasons it is the best is because you can get a debit card. You can do 
reimbursements. But really what makes Fidelity the great place is it's all about investing. And this is what I love about it is you use your money to invest and Fidelity is the leader in trying to use your money. So again, you can contribute to it, um, which is can be very helpful. You can contribute cash. You can actually transfer from existing health savings account. Even if you have a current plan with health equity, because that's who your employer uses, I actually show a video, I'll leave a link to it, is where you can transfer money from your uh, account at health equity to fidelity. And by doing that, then you can take advantage of the investment options and the no fees and minimums that you have it. You can invest in it. So huge fan of the fidelity health savings account. You can contribute to it. You can use it. But again, investing really makes it helpful because the contributions that go in are tax free. They can grow tax free through investments and you can contribute that tax free. So that is my number four favorite account at Fidelity. My number three account is the cash management account. I have done lots of different videos to that. I'll leave some links to those as well. The Fidelity cash management account. What the Fidelity cash management account is because Fidelity is a brokerage account and not a bank account, they, have many of the same banking features. Now, I've had other people tell me, you know, Fidelity isn't a bank, and you are correct, but they offer so many great banking solutions that are just far superior than what they have, than what other banks can offer. There's no account fees or minimums. You don't have to have direct deposit with a specific number. You can have it attached to your digital wallet. You get a secure debit card. My favorite, favorite feature over here is ATMs fees are reimbursed globally. So I love this. This is the number one reason why I have this account. So when you use your ATM card and you pull out cash, if there's a three, four, five, I've even seen a $5 fee on ATMs, you get that reimbursed. So it's just a no brainer. Having the account, it lives within the Fidelity account. So within your regular Fidelity app, you can set up bill pay. You get your, you can mobile check deposit. You can review your real time spending. You know, you have that FDIC coverage on your cash balance. And what makes this far superior than all the other ones, you have the ability to invest. And so for me personally, having a place where you can build and hold your money is a great way to do it. And then you have the ability to invest. Me personally, what I look to invest in is ETFs. So ETFs that I invest in for my cash management account are SPLG or IVV. Uh, these have very these mimic the S and P 500, and they have very low expense ratios. Um, but those are what I invest in within the cash management account. You offer, you know, 2.72 on your cash, which is pretty competitive considering this is not a savings account. It's basically comparable to a checking account, and you're getting that money um, every month. You're getting that money as you grow your money, keeping it in there. So you get a competitive rate compared to what the national rate is, which is much low on checking accounts. So that's my number three, my number two account, and it is the Fidelity account. It's your regular old brokerage account. Now what's special about the Fidelity brokerage account and why I put it above the cash management account is what many people don't realize, and I've done a whole nother video and I'll link to it, is you can actually transform your brokerage account into a cash management account. We're having some of the similar features. You can add bill pay, you can add mobile check deposit, you can even set up direct deposit. That's currently what I use, is I set up direct deposit within my Fidelity brokerage account. You can pay off bills, just like you would with uh, your cash management account. You have so many investment options. You can unlock 
margin if you want to tap into buying and borrowing against the assets that you already have as a line of credit. Not that you need to use it, but it's an opportunity to kind of tap into it. You can use dollar-based uh, investing with fractional shares. There are account brokerage accounts out there that do not allow you to buy fractional shares, but Fidelity, they let you buy fractional shares. It's kind of the best of both worlds. When you look at buying ETFs, it's kind of similar to buying a mutual fund or an index fund. So a lot of great benefits with the Fidelity account. Obviously, there's no fees or minimums. You get that fractional shares. You can set up direct deposit. You can move your money quickly between it. It's all housed on a very easy to use Fidelity mobile app. There's lots of great features. And so you can even look at different investing options. Me personally, I like to invest in the same things that I mentioned in the cash management account. I'm focusing on ETFs, particularly SPLG and IVV. These are the ones that I prefer to invest in for my Fidelity account. So this is my second favorite Fidelity account. I've done lots of different reviews uh, that more in depth of what it is, but my top five Fidelity account is the Fidelity giving account, uh, also known as Fidelity charitable, charitable or a donor uh, advised fund. This account coupled with a brokerage account or a cash management account or really any other account really unlocks the possibilities at Fidelity. So if you donate to a church or a charitable organization or you're looking for tax benefits, this account is for you. What you're able to do, how it works, is I got to go through it because a lot, I've done videos on these and nobody seems to care or watch about it, but this account is an absolute game changer. The giving account is like a charitable investment account for the sole purpose of supporting charities you care about, maximizing both your charitable contribution dollars and tax benefits. You could potentially give and save in these three ways. So, one of the things you can do is give. So potentially qualify for a tax deduction by making a contributions to your giving account with cash. Appreciated stock like vested shares in a company. This is exactly what I do. So I mentioned earlier that I like to invest in ETFs in my brokerage account and my cash management account. What you can do is as you hold on, buy and hold, hold them for more than a year, as those ETFs or stocks appreciate in value, you can then give them to your donor advised account. It is, it is amazing. You get that tax benefit. So for example, let's say you buy $10,000 of an ETF, IVV, you hold it for one or two years and appreciates to $15,000. So typically, now it's on long-term capital gains, but you have the ability to donate the full value without having, so you get a $15,000 tax deduction. Obviously, you'd have to check with your tax accounting depending on how you file, but instead of just donating 10 and having to pay the capital gains of five, you get to pay zero in capital gains and get recognized for donating the full 15. So very, very powerful. And not only when you put your money into the giving account, you can actually invest in your giving account. So essentially having your investments grow tax-free, similar to a health savings account, but it's used for the purposes of charitable donation. So within this, you don't have the full gamut of what you're able to invest in. But for me, I invest in FSKAX, which is the total market. Fidelity total market has a low expense ratio and has great historical returns. So you can give it to the account. You can actually invest in your account 
and then you can grant it. So then you can give it to the charitable organization, the church, the organization, the thing that matters to you. And then come tax time, instead of having to navigate several different um, charitable organizations and figuring out, oh, what forms do I need to have? You get one form from Fidelity come tax time of what you contributed into your donor advised account and that is what is used for tax purposes and then you can also see how you've deployed your resources to those contrib to those different charities of your choice so again this is my favorite account i'll leave a link up there that goes through the full details of fidelity charitable but those are my five favorite accounts. Let me know what your favorite Fidelity accounts are. I didn't even have time to talk about the Fidelity Business Brokerage account or the Roth IRA or even Fidelity Bloom. All of these are great accounts. They didn't make it into my top five. But again, what really makes Fidelity special is once you have one account with Fidelity, it's so easy to open up another account with them to help you be intentional with your money, to help grow it, to organize your finances, to help win with money. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's a different account that I didn't go over or you'd like to have, you have questions about specific ones that I have, please leave questions in the comments section below. I love looking at them and helping people on their journey to financial freedom and building wealth. Feel free to check out some of these other videos that go into depths of more Fidelity accounts. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.